Howdy there, friends. How are you guys doing today? I hope each and every single one of you is well. My name is Rabbit, and welcome to episode number 12 of Let's Play Through Lufia and the Fortress of Doom on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. In our previous episode, we made friends with a commander. Oh, where is he? Ah, there he is, a commander named Aguro. We met him back in Trek. He was also interested in the events transpiring related to the potential return of the Sinistrals. So we are now embarking on a journey together to reclaim a ship that was taken from Trek called the Mabaria. And we had parted ways in this mysterious room. Hmm, are these teleportation devices or platforms? I'm not too sure, but only one way to find out, friends, and that's to dive into them. And oh no, what's happening? <gasps> MP restored, now that is fabulous. And HP restored, that's what I'm talking about, friends. And actually, since we did find these restorative platforms, I'm just gonna say, I think this might be a good opportunity if you're feeling a little concerned about your levels and just sort of where you're at, to take a little bit of time, you know, it won't certainly consume more than 10 minutes, to go ahead and do a bit of grinding, get a level or so on, I think a guru's pretty close to level eight. Well, let's, let's just check it out. Instead of me sitting here hypothesizing and trying to roughly remember where everyone's at, we'll just see as soon as this encounter concludes. I want to say Aguro is pretty near hitting level 8. Lufia shouldn't be too far off from 8 herself. Um, her falling during that fight with the Demon Lords back in Trek did cripple her a wee bit. So Aguro is going to hit 8 before she does. But actually, friends, I think it might behoove us to go ahead and slap a couple, I shouldn't say a couple of levels. We really only need one on Aguro and one on Lufia, just, again, to give them a little bit of padding. I will still take us through the dungeon, but I think I will make my way back to that little healing room on my own before we go ahead and exit the cave. But let's just finish journeying through everything together. We actually, hold on, I'm trying to think. I, mm, I don't believe I need to use mana here. Our, our damage is actually quite good here. We've not avoided too many encounters, so I think my team is pretty up to snuff with what awaits us, but I will go ahead and just warn you guys that when we do reclaim the Mabaria, there is an encounter awaiting us that can be a little bit difficult if you have not adequately prepared yourself. So, you know, take that for what you will. I think it would be advantageous for all of my team to be at least at level eight, just to make this upcoming fight a little bit easier on me. So that is going to be my goal, and I'd rather try to access it with as much of my MP and HP replenished as possible. So I'll take us to the end of the dungeon, as I already mentioned. Oh, I don't remember if, oh God, what am I doing? Aguro, I'm struggling, that's what I'm doing over here. He's probably like, that makes two of us because the Sinistrals are potentially back. So everyone's going to be struggling if we don't do something real quick. But that's okay. We are the brave warriors that are willing to undertake anything thrown our way for the sake of mankind. <sighs> Sadly, I think that's what we need in real life right now too, friends. Considering the current climate and situation going on, well, we'll see. Maybe the hero that we all need will arrive soon. We'll just have to wait and see. But okay, we've got some more kobolds. I will go ahead and leave. Uh, oh gosh, I was thinking maybe I should have had Lufia do an AoE spell, but that's okay, whatever. We'll just hack and slash our way through these last couple of fights together because we're actually almost at the end of the dungeon. I'll show you here in just a second. We'll go ahead and take... Uh, I'll focus the giant bat as well. I don't think Lufia can do enough to kill him. Yeah, I didn't think so. But that's okay, Lufia. Do not despair, my dear. And oh, the kobold gave us a mid arrow. Always nice to get some extra freebies. And you can see where we're at with XP. Yeah, Aguro's gonna get there in a couple of fights. So let's see what's in this treasure chest. And ooh, we found a day's ring. Now I wanna say we cannot see descriptions, even for equipment. Let me just scroll down here and see. Ah. That just drives me nuts, friends. I don't know why they would allow you to see a brief description for spells, but not equipment. But 
it is what it is. Let's take a look and just see if we were to equip it on someone, how does it impact our stats? And ooh, take a look there. So defense will go up as well as magic resistance. However, before we just opt to slap this on Kenzo, let's see where everyone's at with their respective stats. Because I think at this point, we probably want to level the playing field a little bit. So if we scroll to Aguro, his magic resistance is garbage. His defensive power is great and on par with Kenzo, but look at that. It's a 10 point difference, I don't know about that. And even Lufia is okay in terms of her physical defense. She's a little bit behind the boys, but her magic resistance is phenomenal. So I do not think it would be to our advantage to give her the day's ring nor do I really think it makes sense to slap it on Kenzo. So let's go ahead and give it to our new husbando, Aguro. And I'll let you guys just see the changes that will occur by us equipping this onto him. I think that's going to be the way for us to go right now. But okay, let's hop on out. I will happily take any freebies that we pick up. I like them, I love them, and I always want some more of them. Can I actually? Let's go ahead and try Flash. I don't think I realized that Flash was an AoE. I've been primarily focusing on Do as the AoE ability. Well, I don't think it actually is. Never mind. <laughs> Ignore me, friends. I am slowly descending into madness myself. Um, we just confirmed that Flash is not an AoE, which I did not think it was. Do is the only AoE spell that we have right now, which is still fine. It does what we need it to do, but it's not perfect by any means, you know, if you encounter enemies that are resistant to it. But okay, this should be the last, if not second to last fight that you guys will have to see with just these random little monsters. Oh my gosh, every time I fall for it. Every flipping time. I need to just focus the bats with Kenzo and Aguro because I never know what they're going to throw out. And another mid arrow. Very nice. All right. Aguro will be hitting level eight soon. So I'm going to just show you guys that this is the staircase that we need to take to actually exit this dungeon. But I'm going to run back to heal up. I will bring you guys back whenever we do amass enough XP for someone to hit that next level because I do want you to see the specific stat changes. But ultimately, I will cut out all the fights and you guys will just see us in that little status page when they do hit their level. And then I will ultimately bring us back once I've healed up and come back here to this staircase and we will continue to find the Mabaria together. So give me just a moment, my friends. Alrighty friends, welcome back to my little training grounds area. Aguro should be hitting level 8 here in just a moment and I wanted you to see the little stat increases. So let's click on and da 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 da! Aguro's level is up. And by hitting level 8, he sees an increase of 8 health points, 7 strength, 3 intelligence, 5 agility, and 1 magic resistance. So pretty good, right? We can't complain about that. So we should be seeing a level on Lufia here in just a moment, and I'll bring you guys back for that page of increases. Alrighty, friends, welcome back. Lufia should be seeing herself now also hitting level eight. So let's take a look at her stat changes. She gained five health points, four mana points, one strength, two intelligence, one agility, and one magic resistance. So yay, oh no, left 666 XP. I don't know about them numbers, Lufia, and that makes me a little bit nervous about what awaits us, but that is okay. I am going to run back up to this little healing room, take care of getting everyone back where they need to be, and then I will meet you guys at that staircase that will take us out of the dungeon. So I'll see you guys in just a second. Alrighty friends, welcome back. This is actually good timing because not only are we in the room that will take us out of the dungeon, but Kenzo should be hitting level 9 as well. So the perfect screen to usher you guys back in to gameplay with me. We did get a mid arrow from that encounter and the level that I was just speaking of for Kenzo. So he is going to gain 6 HP, 1 MP, 3 strength, 1 int, and that is all. So we should have a little bit to go before anyone else sees any levels. And like I said, this isn't something that you absolutely must do, but I would at least ensure that everyone is close to level eight. I, I think it's the way that you're going to really set yourself up to have a good time with the fight that awaits you. But I will say no more. 
I will allow you to simply see what it is that I'm referencing. So let's go ahead and just cast you. And I'm so silly. Uh, when I was talking about Flash, you could simply bring up the description to see that it hits one enemy. So I don't know why I had that brain fart. And this clearly indicates that it hits a group or wave of enemies. So we will cast Do. We will focus the baby crabs with the two husbandos. And then we will hop on out of here. I'll make sure to heal up my party. Although I think everyone's HP should be pretty close to where it needs to be. But I would rather be about full than not. But oh, if you guys take a look just a little bit to the lower left of Kenzo, there's the ship that we were seeking. Hmm. But it can't surely just be left unattended to like this. I'm gonna guess there's something going on. Let's go ahead and have Kenzo cast a strong on himself. Yeah, he didn't have that much to replenish, but I want to still go ahead and get everyone close to max. And we'll give the 11 points to Lufia as well. Aguro's only three from his max HP, so I'm not gonna worry too much about it. But here we go. We will take a gander at the Mabarian Sea. Can we just hop in it and go back to Trek? This must be the Mabaria. Kenzo, behind you. Oh, we should have known, friends. We should have known. They were waiting for us to come. And we've got three gross goblins here defending it. And I'm going to tell you, they pack a bit of a wallop. So if you did not move Lufia to the back of the line when I did, well, you might have a little bit of a worse time than I'm about to. Because I do want to say that the enemies prefer to focus the folks that are up at the front. Ooh, so I'm gonna actually start off with some shields. I'm gonna throw them on everyone. A guru should be able to withstand most of what the goblins are gonna dish out, but Lufia and Kenzo, these two might be, oh gosh, that only brings up magic resistance? Probably not what I need to do. I don't remember what takes care of physical. Oh my gosh, will you guys leave Lufia alone? My goodness. Let me see, I thought I had an ability that increased Let's see, no, no, it does just shield against spells. Waken wakes you up, so I don't have it. Hmm, well, then I guess we need to rethink this strategy because I thought for sure shield would protect from physical DPS, but no, we just learned together it is magic, but that's okay. I think because of our levels, we should be fine. And as long as we have Lufia healed up and occasionally putting some heals on Kenzo, I think we should be fine. Really, from what I recall from previous undertakings of this, the, the levels seem to make the really big difference and just making sure that your team... Yeah, I don't have one. That is so wild. I'm not sure why I brain farted again and thought, see, this is what I'm telling you guys. I've played this before. I mostly know how to prepare for everything that's ahead, but... Don't expect this to be that exhaustive of a guide with Im an immense level of detail. We're gonna just take it in stride and sometimes we might have to figure out in real time the best way of surviving what's coming out. Oh lord, they really, they really are giving us a run for our money though. Let's heal up Kenzo because I'm a little worried about him, but at least we did take down one of the goblins. Oh gosh, but Kenzo's getting dangerously low. So I'm actually going to have a turn where Kenzo heals himself and I'm going to have Lufia heal herself too because this can get ugly real quick. But I do want to call it now that I think we're in the clear. I don't think they're going to be able to do anything else to us before we wrap this up. And there we go, friends. 300 XP plus 540 gold pieces. Woo! We will take it. Oh my gosh, and now Lufia as well as Aguro are even closer to hitting their next levels too. So that's really exciting. They're the ones who stole the Mabaria. Kenzo, let's board the ship and sail to Trek. Good idea. All right, we did it. We retrieved the Mabaria. And now we can go ahead and bring it back to the captain. I'm sure he will be elated to see that it is okay. The M Mabaria, you found it? The captain is up at the lodge. Quickly, go and tell him. I am on my way, but first, actually, I'm going to sleep at the inn, take care of my business, because I don't want to forget, and then us head into whatever awaits us next and not be prepared. So we will quickly go and speak with the captain. And actually, this is kind of good timing for us to 
probably call this a recording session, friends. We've knocked out quite a bit of the story in terms of getting us started and learning what it is we need to do in the world. Oh, he's just saying the same thing. Oh, I did not mean to talk to you twice in the world in order to save everyone. Well, I guess we don't know everything we need to do, but we do know the Sinistrals are potentially back and things are going to get messy if we do not intervene. Found my Mabaria? Where? The port? Right, of course. Let's go. <laughs> He's so excited. All right, Captain, take us to the ship. We've got places to go. My Mabaria, thank you. Anytime you want to go to Lorbania, you ride for free. Woo, that's my thanks to you. That's perfect. Well, we actually will not take him up on his offer right now because as I was just beginning to say, we will go ahead and call this not only an episode, but a recording session because we really delved into the meat and potatoes of the story. We kind of know what our ultimate goal and objective is, which is to stop the Sinistrals from returning and or defeat them again if they have returned. But we know more immediately we need to go and find someone who knows something about Artea so that oh, we can figure out what we need to do if the Sinistrals are in fact in the process of coming back. So let's go ahead and record. We will save over. Yes, I'll continue for now. Let me just take one look at that. Okay. There we go. So we're three hours and 33 minutes in. That's kind of crazy. Uh, we're at levels nine, eight, and eight. So we're, we're sitting pretty. I think we're where we ultimately need to be. We'll just leave it to say that we will continue because I will finish up my little outro with you guys at the port. So when we do come back together, not only in our upcoming episode, but our next batch of episodes, we will speak with the captain, we will head to Lorbinia, and ultimately figure out what it is that we need to next do in order to find out more information about Gades, the Sinistrals, uh, Artea himself, and what we need to do, period, to save this world from the imminent danger that is arising. But until then, friends, thank you so much for joining me for this beginning batch of videos for our new Let's Play project. I hope you are as excited about us playing this together as I am. But until episode number 13, take care, be good, and I look forward to seeing you guys there. Bye-bye! <laughs>